Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Azazel, and I got some raid gameplay for you today. And I want to talk about a couple of things gaming-related. Uh, with E3 just around the corner, we're just about two weeks out from it, just under that. Uh, there are a couple of things I want to talk about with that coming up. First and foremost, there is supposedly, allegedly, and hopefully, a new Xbox One controller. That new Xbox One controller, nothing's going to be different about the controller itself with the exception of one very important piece of information. And that is a new headphone jack. It's going to have a regular old 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which means all of the older headsets from other consoles that you guys may have used back on your PS3 or your Xbox 360 will now work. And that's great. It only took almost two years for them to realize that their exclusive headphone jack that they had built into the Xbox One controller was actually something that was harming their console. That means that third-party vendors who make headsets can't make current headsets for that fucking console. That means they have to make brand new ones with their connection and pay Microsoft to fucking do it. And I don't think anybody really wanted to do that because, you know, finding a headset that fit the Xbox One jack was pretty difficult for me, so I never ended up getting one. Now, when I first had my Xbox One, the one that was stolen back in October, uh, I didn't have a headphone for it or a set of headphones for it or a headset or anything like that with the exception of the one that came with the console itself. So, <clears throat> so I... I I thought about getting one, I looked around, but you know, the new ones for the Xbox One were really, really expensive and it was really hard for me to find one that I liked. And I wanted to be able to have a headset that switched between the consoles. The one that I had, my Turtle Beaches, were pretty expensive and they were getting pretty old, but it was time for a new set, you know? So I'm really happy and hopefully this really does happen. I'm excited to see it. That's out of the way. Uh, let me know what you think about it if you're an Xbox One gamer. Now, the only bad thing means is that now I have to buy a new fucking controller. And I have two controllers now. Uh, the fucking first world problems, right? Now, E3's coming up. And with that, we're probably all expected uh, to be excited about a couple of different games. Or, you know, maybe... Maybe some new console news or something. I'm not really sure. I don't usually follow E3 until after it starts. Uh, it's just kind of how I am. I don't really have the time to do it most of the time to really pay attention to that. But I think I'm going to pay attention to E3 because I want to see what they're going to say about Fallout 4, which was finally announced. Uh, Fallout 3 was something that I played a little bit but never got really into. But now that there are really no games worth playing... Oh, God... And uploading to YouTube means uploading older COD games for people like myself, commentators like myself. Maybe Fallout 4 will be a new game for us to upload that will be very entertaining and interesting for our viewers to watch, which of course is something that I would be really interested in having. Uh, right now, it's, it's weird. Pretty much the only thing I'm playing is Destiny, and I don't really upload that to my channel because I don't really enjoy watching it myself. A couple of people have said, yeah, I'd watch it if you uploaded it, but... I just don't see the point. The uploads from Destiny that I see, for the most part, no offense to anyone, don't really entertain me uh, because they're pretty cut and dry. The Crucible ones can get interesting if it's a really crazy gameplay, you know, a big backpack gameplay where you're getting 40 kills in Crucible, which is pretty fucking hard. So that is impressive. But for the most part, it's kind of difficult to watch that because that 30 frames per second, that slow down, that kind of old school Halo play, that's what it feels like to me. And I don't get anything from that anymore. I used to love watching Halo, but now I really don't. And that's a Halo type game when it comes to the player versus player mode. So hopefully we'll see some stuff come out at E3 and hopefully this new Xbox One controller is something that is a reality other than having to buy a new controller. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, guys. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everything you do for me. Thank you guys for watching. It's been Azazel.